Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to tie the traditional version of the Snell Knot. To tie this knot, thread a healthy amount of line through the eye of the hook and lay the tag end parallel to the shank like this to form a large loop. What I like to do when I tie this knot is to grip the main line in my hand and pinch the main line, tag end, and shank together to ensure the line doesn't slip while I'm tying the knot. Next, thread your fingers through the loop like this, putting a little tension on the line. Pay attention to this next step, because this is what makes this knot a little tricky. The section of line on my index finger is the upper part of the tag end. The section of line on my middle finger is the lowest part of the main line. As I continue to make the knot, the section of line on my index finger is going to be wrapped around the section of line on my middle finger, the tag end, and the shank. Now begin making your wraps, keeping constant tension on the line. If the tag end moves on you, move it back into place so it can be tied down to the hook. This knot works with all forms of line. I'm using really thick braid, so I'm only going to make 8 to 10 wraps, but if you're using weaker lines, such as 12 pounds or less, you'll want to make more wraps. Once you've made enough wraps, keep tension on that loop and then pull on the main line to close the loop. Next, pull on the tag end to tighten the front of the knot. Follow that by pulling on the main line to tighten the knot against the eye. Trim the tag end and that completes the traditional Snell knot. If you guys want to learn more fishing knots, we encourage you guys to check out our fishing knots tutorial playlist. We hope you guys come back for the next video, but until then, get out there, put a line in the water because we were made to fish.